Hi guys, this is Pusakal MKB and today we are going to unbox and take a look on what's inside the CIY X77 TKL mechanical keyboard. Inside the box, you can see the USB-C cable, manual, and switch puller. Let's put this away to make room for the keyboard kit. So here's our keyboard in color white. It sounds pretty hollow at stock, so a little bit of modding may help. Also has a removable shroud that you can take off anytime you want. Still looks good without the shroud. The USB-C port is located at the center of the back end of our keyboard. The stock keycaps are PBT shine through, but you can replace it with any keycap kit you want. It has plate mounted stabilizers that are pre-lubed from the factory. Here's the stabilizers up close, and I must say they did a good job in lubricating it. The stabilizers doesn't need further modding because it uses a newer version doesn't have prongs, so no more clipping is needed. Moving on, let's take a look at the Jishan Brown switches. It's a tactile switch with an operation force of 50 grams and a tactile force of 60 grams. The stem is made out of palm and the tactile bump is much more noticeable than other brown switches I have tried. The springs are gold plated, which are rated at 50 grams of force. The bottom housing is nylon and the top housing is polycarbonate with a kale clasp to put them together. I would like to thank CIY for sending me this keyboard. It took me some time to make a video because of my hectic schedule. Since the COVID alert levels have gone down, I have been doing a lot of projects for my business. And it's also my first time doing these voiceovers. So, what do you think? And now let's take a look on what's inside. I only removed the keycaps near the screws to open the keyboard. The daughter board is connected with a JST cable to the main board. I really like budget keyboards with daughter boards because it's easier to do modifications and I can easily convert it to a gasket if I want. They use their very own CIY hot swappable sockets in which you can mount 3 to 5 pin switches in north facing orientation. Since the plate and the PCB are not screwed together, so I'm just ripping it off. I couldn't see any information about the plate material, but I am guessing it's steel since the shroud sticks to it with magnets. So let's put them back together carefully, making sure that the switches are properly aligned to the PCB to avoid bent switches. For the next video, I will be modding this keyboard so make sure to like and subscribe. Let's have a quick typing test to hear how it sounds.
Ina.